Good morning, guys. I'm so excited because I'm going to be trying a new recipe. Now, I've made something similar to this at home, but I've never done it while camping. So, let's make a bacon and cheese quiche. So I guess technically this won't be a quiche, this is more like a frittata because we won't be having a crust. We're going to be making it in my cast iron skillet. So I'm really excited because I haven't gotten to do any camp cooking in my cast irons in forever. So what we'll be doing is we'll be using bacon and we'll saute the bacon and then we'll have a little bit of onion. We're going to mix eggs and heavy whipping cream and cheddar cheese together, pouring it in. Oh wait! But I remembered I have something special I want to share with you guys. We're going to try canned potatoes. I know that sounds a little weird, but I was watching it on another show and she mentioned that she uses canned potatoes all the time. So I thought for ease and speed, we'd add some fried potatoes as well. So let's get started. All right, since I'm only doing a little eight inch skillet, we're not gonna need a whole lot of ingredients to go in every single one. But first I wanna start with bacon. That way we're rendering some of the bacon fat off of it and it'll help our eggs not stick when we bake it. So we'll probably just start with about maybe three pieces. Sorry, you're three cooking okay. fast. Okay. So I'm using thick cut hickory smoked. We're gonna just chop it into little chunks. That might be enough. We really only needed about one or two pieces, but we can always add more if we want more later. All right, let's go ahead and add the bacon. And then we'll add about a quarter cup of chopped onion. There's nothing like bacon and onion cooking together. All right, let's give it a stir. Start letting the bacon cook and crisp up a little bit and the onion to soften. Okay, so as I said earlier, we are going to be using canned whole new potatoes. So this is something new that I'm going to be trying, but I feel like it's going to work really great. So let's go ahead and open it. We'll drain out the liquid. We're going to dry them off a little bit, and then we'll chop them up. Almost looks like eggs. Yeah. Let's pull a couple out. The reason I'm drying it is because if you put something wet, into a skillet and you're wanting or you're wanting to brown anything and crisp it up if it's wet it's not going to so if you want meat to get real crispy on the outside dry it off first like steak for example let's start with that, Isn't that cute? aren't they cute i mean they're just boiled they're ready yeah bite-sized pieces seriously i feel like I want, i'm gonna take a bite of them probably tastes fine Really? Yeah. This one might be the third. Can I try one? Sure. I like it. Yeah? Okay, so the bacon is crisping up nicely and look, the onion is too. So now we're just gonna make a little spot and we're gonna toss in our potatoes. Okay, so since the potatoes are already cooked, they're soft, but I want to get a little bit of color on them if I can. So as I'm going along, I was realizing that I probably really should have scooped out the bacon so that it doesn't get too crisp, um, so that I could actually get the color on the potatoes that I really wanted. Um, but at this point in time, we're just going to move forward. I'll know what to do better next time. So now, because we're adding potatoes, ooh, bacon, don't pop out. That's a no-no. That was crazy. Yeah. Maybe it's from the moisture of potatoes. Okay, so since we're adding potatoes, I always like to add a little bit of extra seasoning because 
Otherwise, potatoes are pretty bland and can handle a little extra seasoning, so I'm gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper. Even though the bacon is really salty and will add a lot of flavor to it, but because we're adding eggs and cheese, I wanna add just a smidge to be on the safe side. And I feel like lots of pepper, because you know, cowboys and overlanders like pepper, right? And Caroline, you gonna help me do the eggs? Let's do it. Four, eggs, four. Yeah. How are you making? Like. Now I've got my, you can just stick it right there, boo-boo. Now I've got my helper over here who loves to crack eggs. So I'm just gonna take a little, uh, little break while she cracks the eggs. Good job, boo boo. You can wipe your hands on that. That butter. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> gonna go with it you guys <laughs> yeah we're overlanders we can handle that right no, <laughs> no. okay so now I'm gonna add a sprinkle of cheese can I do it sure just a little handful because we'll put some more on top and do you need a little bit in your mouth yes <laughs> <laughs> a big bit yeah. Whoa. Whoa. mix that in now let's take it over and pour it in So I just added about a teaspoon of butter because butter tastes good and I want to make sure that hopefully this won't stick to the bottom but we'll have to wait and see. Okay so the skillet is nice and hot and our oven is getting there. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of spread everything out evenly so that there's bacon and potatoes and onions and every bite. Now, we'll go ahead and turn off the heat because the skillet's hot enough and we'll add in our lovely egg, heavy cream, and cheese mixture. Please don't start that again. There we go. Oh my. You put a little cheese Oh yeah, of course. Okay, see how it's starting to cook around the edges? That's perfect. That's exactly what we want it to do because really once we stick it in the oven we just want it to cook in the center. So now we're going to add some cheese. So I'm kind of cheating a little bit and going to add a little bit of my blackened seasoning that I used for the blackened chicken alfredo that we made and just add a little bit on top for a little color. It's paprika, smoky flavor, it's gonna be great. Oh yeah, good idea. Okay? Okay. Okay. Hungry. See you in a minute, little buddy. Mm. Camp Chef puts out some BTUs. It does. All right, so we'll let that bake for, typically at home it would be about 20 minutes at 350, but I'm gonna keep an eye on it because, you know, this isn't <laughs> a normal oven. It's hot and then it cools off, so uh, we'll, we'll check it around 10 minutes. 
So some people have actually recommended that we put a pizza stone down in the bottom and that would make perfect sense because then that would help kind of keep the heat steady and consistent. Um, but we just haven't done that yet. So we'll have to see if we can find one small enough to fit in there. But for $35, I'm having a lot of fun with this. <laughs> All right, my timer went off. So let's take a peek and see how it's doing. Oh, still jiggly in the center. You see how it's jiggly in the center? That means it's not quite done yet. Yeah, see. But, oh, the sides are getting crispy. Let's say about four more minutes, five more minutes. Whoa. It smells good, doesn't it? Okay. So the timer went off and I believe it's done. So we're gonna go ahead and turn it off, pull it out and set it out. Okay, Caroline, watch out. Three, two, one. Yes. Now we'll just let it set and cool and this will help them make it perfect for slicing. What do you think? I'm really excited. You did it. Yeah. <laughs> Cause it's, it's got nice and crispy edges. It looks like it's gonna just slide right out. Yes. Mm. Dee Dee. Okay, moment of truth time. Let's serve it up and take a taste. This is a pretty piece. Oh, came right out. Not one bit of stickage. That potato goes in a piece. Dang, look how clean it came out. Now I recommend a dollop of pico de gallo because it's all of the best things. Tomatoes, fresh onions, jalapenos, yes. And because it's already a little Southwest, let's add some color with some fresh cilantro. Now, if you don't like cilantro, feel free to do parsley. Yeah. Or you could skip it all together. But I like this part. Because you can get to decorate it. That's right. That's why. Mommy likes to decorate things. Me too. And why the heck not? Hot Let's sauce. add some hot sauce. Just a little bit. That's beautiful. Yeah. Mm, look at that. All right, it's time for a bite. And I see the lovely tender little new potatoes. I see cheese flecked throughout. Oh man, this is gonna be good. All right. Mmm. That is so good. The eggs are fluffy from the heavy whipping cream added in it. I taste the salt from the pork and the bacon. The tender potatoes, mm, and the crust is just delightful. This was a great surprise. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Mama. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's good, huh? And that's from the picky eater. You like that? Awesome. All right, now it's my turn and I'm dying. Oh, you just. You can just hold it. You just eat it like that. The cast iron's keeping it nice and hot. Pico, Cholula. I'm and a bit for the fan favorite, cilantro. Good job. Dang, that's a winner. I mean, I can't even with the potatoes. I'm so stoked about right? that. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, and those toppings just set it off. Uh -huh. yeah. A little bit of cool diced tomatoes, just a little bite from the cilantro. Mm -hmm. 
And then those potatoes are just hiding in there. Got it. And then of course the bacon. <laughs> Can't go wrong. It's like the pepper and the bacon are the ones where are like the last way you could taste. Mm. And like the eggs are like taking over. Mm-hmm. Very, very good. Descriptive. Yeah. Good job, guys. Yeah, I'll probably have another piece. I'll be totally honest. You won't finish that. Yeah. Mm. I probably might have a piece, but I probably might have.